Thump chasing monster peacock bass. Well, back again. In case somebody is interested in that or if it's your first time preparing for peacock bass fishing, there's another uh, question of course, the question about lures. Here there are like, in my opinion, like three types of lures that you should have. There's top water fishing, then like jerk bait, like minnows and chick fishing. That's like the three basic types that you should bring on every peacock bass trip. Let us start with the chicks. They typically use like feather tail chicks that imitate like a small fish. If nothing else works, chicks are gonna work. If you hit like a really bad week, we experienced that in like uh, Brazil already or even here. Sometimes the fish just don't wanna bite because the water's rising or I don't know. If they don't wanna bite, your last lure to go are usually chicks. There's a lot of different brands that make them. Especially in Brazil, you're gonna find uh, tons of different chicks. I personally fish like from Ultimate Peacock Bass Fishing. They're like 5-8 ounces, a really well made, different colors, whatever you like, you, yeah, you better fish. The colors that work best for me so far are, are really bright ones, yellow and red and green. But I guess it depends always on the river and on your preferences and whatever you like. In the end it just matters that you have like confidence in the lure or your color or the color of the chick or whatever. You should never go peacock bass fishing without them. On, on the first trip we did we brought like three chicks and we hit a really bad week. The first day we already ran out of the chicks because especially the piranhas bite the tails and even the whole chicks. Chicks usually produce a lot of smaller fish, also produce a lot of big fish. I personally don't really like them because it's like a kind of boring technique compared to the other um, options that you have fishing for peacock bass. If, if nothing else works, I give them a try. Already caught like pretty nice fish on them. Type number two are like uh, jerk baits, like minnows. For example, duo fang bait now. Or the classics, Yazuri. Like jerk baits between, I would say like 10 up to 14 centimeters are usually fished. Of course, you can fish whatever you like. These are like the standard sizes. There are a ton of options. Each brand has like its own. I personally fish, of course, with duos. Yazuris, I like the, the Magminos too. They have a weight transfer system and you can cast them a mile or And as you can see here, they already caught a lot of fish as well as duos too. As smaller you fish, you're gonna get a lot of smaller fish. The uh, bigger you fish them, you're gonna catch less bigger fish usually, but, but even like a two pound peacock bass gonna hit like a 16, 17, 18, even, even, even 20 centimeter lure. So. But as I said, like the standard size is about 12 to 14 centimeters. Last category are like topwater baits. A lot of people, if they hear topwater, they think about um, choppers, wood choppers. These are the high rollers, the rip roller from high roller lures. I personally prefer them over the original wood choppers because the props better than from a wood chopper, but of course that's just another opinion. And of course here there's, there's a ton of options to choose from several brands and whatever you like. Personally fish the rip rollers, the big ones. And also here like color is not that important, especially with top water baits, because it's important here is the noise. This one, Case Lab, why right? this Japanese brand. There's another top water lure of course that you can use are like the walk bait, like the Duo Arealis Sensen. One of the most famous ones, I guess, are the dry raus from Imakatsu. There's Chinese copies out there now from several brands. That's the original. It has a really specific sound that makes it like, unique. I know jumping minnows are really popular in um, Brazil. They catch a lot of small fish because of the size. Also like a lot of big fish I've seen. 
it and as you can see also here they've got bitten a lot size wise it's the same with the minnows or the jerk baits uh, best you bring different uh, sizes i personally recommend like 12 centimeters up to 23 centimeters they also produce fish, but of course you're gonna get a lot less bites on these than you get on the small one. It all depends on what you want to catch, of course. If you wanna catch just small ones or if you just wanna catch fish, you're gonna fish like with something small. If you wanna catch like just a huge one, so adapt the size accordingly, I guess. Yeah, I fish both for like fun. I fish smaller lures. I want to catch big fish, so I fish a lot of big lures. On the other hand, I don't get a lot of bites. But usually, if I, if I get bitten, it's a bigger fish. For example, on the on the wood choppers, there's also like smaller versions, of course, that, that I fish too. But for me, I prefer the biggest one. It's like. 7.5 inches. In the end you gotta choose what you prefer size wise. I would recommend to bring a variety of different sizes and different lures. Especially if you look on the, the Brazilian market you're gonna find a lot of lures specially made for peacock bass. There's one brand that makes a lot of peacock bass stuff. Borbaletta. The Perversa is one of the most famous and the Safada. Those are fish magnets. It all depends what the fish want. They swim like really erratic and sometimes that's exactly what the peacock bass want. Probably wouldn't use those in any other type of fishing like for bass fishing, bike fishing or whatever, but here they work. Even if they walk, they're really strange. There's another category in top water of course that's poppers. I started to fish the also from Dua the fang pop and it it works too. Poppers work too. There's a lot of different models. Choose what you like. In general to say about all the uh, lures, it doesn't matter if top water or chicks or jerk baits or whatever you want to else you want to bring to the Amazon. It's important that they're strongly made because peacock bass have a lot of strength. Your lure is like lightly made. They're going to break it. I've even had like smaller fish, not even the big ones, but smaller fish like ripping out whole screws out of the lures. So it's important that you fish like strong hooks and strong baits. A lot of like bass lures don't work well. They work, but they're just too soft, I would say. So pay attention to that too, because they gets really annoying if you lose the fish of your trip, like a 20 pounder or even smaller fish because they bent off your hooks or even ripped out a part of your lure because you can avoid it with fishing just a really strong material. For trebles I recommend at least like 4x heavy hooks like uh, trebles from VMC or Gamma Cats who own a, just uh, salt water. Really strong material in general. Also the split rings don't forget them. I've seen a lot of lures that I fish that come with pretty good hooks but then the split rings are shit. The experience on my own like 13 14 pound peacock bass that bent open like a hundred pound uh, split rings. A bit about the colors. Uh, Pico has like bright colors, like yellow, white, red. Yeah, it all depends on your preference. In the end, it matters that you have confidence in your lures and they're gonna catch fish. We figured out that especially white and yellow, just bright uh, colors in general work best for us. We've fished like trout patterns, several different stuff. What worked best, just bright colors. It doesn't matter if it's uh, natural or not. It just gotta be pop out of the water so they can see it, that it flashes a lot, that it makes them aggressive. As you can see around here, there's a lot of food around in these rivers. So yeah, you gotta choose something that stands out, that they get attracted to. There's also a big discussion between lures that make a lot of noise or not. Uh, peacock bass usually prefer a lot of noise. The wood chopper type of lures, they make a lot, lot of noise, but they like it. So don't be shy to fish really loud lures. Of course, there's also times when they want silent lures. Pay attention to that too and maybe bring some less loud lures. Of course, as always, there's not one lure that catches all the fish. It 
always depends on the situation, on the water levels, on the time of the day, on the weather, the mood of the fish, I don't know what else. But there's a lot of factors that uh, peacock pies depend on when they feed or not. In the end, I would say the most important thing is that you have a variation of different lures that you can choose from so you can change patterns, change lures to get to the fish. I hope that helped a bit. Let's feed the fish. Oh, 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 oh,